lovelies. Um, I'm just going to quickly come on and tell you what kind of day it's been. I was ab abruptly woken up early this morning after not falling asleep until 4 o'clock last night. And then woke it up at 7 o'clock this morning to talk to the doctors about the hospice home we were supposed to go to. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that the whole situation has been canceled and we are no longer going. And um, I felt that uh, it's a little bit deceitful. I am sitting here at lunchtime happy to give you the straight up bullcrap story of the day highly upset let me just say that very deceiving um, not that anybody purposely lied to us I just think there was a lot of ignorance and uneducation guesses uneducated guesses um, as far as what the home is all about and shame on me shame on me for being ignorant and um, allowing this to continue to happen. I mean, first off, also by saying that since I've made the decision about going to this house, I have not felt comfortable or um, at ease. And and the only reason why I completely ignored my mommy gut was because I thought maybe it was just nerves. I don't know the unknown. Um, and sometimes you go with the flow and you just let things happen. And as far as the unknown goes with this, I just thought maybe, oh, I'm just being nervous. You know, this there's bad things happening. We know that there's um, eventually he, he will pass. And so I just thought maybe this is a good place to um, allow that to happen. At the same time, we were told that Elijah is going to get the same medical care at the house sorry I keep getting notifications on my phone it's annoying um, we're going to get um, the same medical care at the house as we do here at the hospital technically that's not true they knew our intentions and to even say to us that it may do them some good and may start getting better having the chains of atmosphere so misleading this is the same people that I almost got kicked out of the hospital with because I wasn't ready for them to come in and I know you know most people are very good and want to help you and don't want to be misleading but we were absolutely misled and here's why um, he can get all the medicines that he already has and we can take them over there and we do what he has. But if anything else is needed, they're not going to administer it. Let's just say he needs platelets or a blood transfusion or, excuse me, more, more sodium or something bad happens. They will not do extensive care. They will not do that kind of stuff. Um, this house is a place to go to die pretty much and we understood that stipulation and it's a it, that's what a hospice home is is that you find quality of life while you are going through your passing so uh, we got that we understood that situation we understood that yes Elijah is almost there and um, and it could happen at any time and we wanted him to have quality of life here's m um, what I think about that though if you were to feel sicker sick you don't feel like doing anything you don't feel like you want to go anywhere do anything you lose interest and we just got Elijah to the point where he's stable, where he wants to get up and move, where he want, he's eating. And we just got him to the point of being stable. Everything is good right now. All his sodiums are stable. His labs have been iffy, you know, because right now he's doing platelets right now. Um, we've had to do blood transfusions, but things are stable. Things are tolerable. We can handle them right at this moment. 
if we were to transition over to this house, um, they would not fix any of that. Like, it would allow him to get sicker. That's not quality of life to me. That is not quality of life to me. How, if you allow him to be sicker and get sicker and, uh, It, it won't allow him to have that quality of life that we were looking for. You know, being there hoping we could find, in the meantime, this new miracle trial. And yet, they now, once we sign the papers, say this. So, I was woken up abruptly this morning to let me know that they're not going to do labs while we're at this house and they're not going to do this and they're not going to do that i just wish we were told this a week ago two weeks ago when this idea came across that um they don't do certain things and my thing is i i like to have the labs at least every other day if not every day to find out how his labs are doing, whether his white blood cell counts are low or whatever. Because I feel like if he's feeling good, that's quality of life. So going over to this house is going to end up not having quality of life for our situation. I'm not disregarding that we could experience some amazing things at this house. And um, I'm not disregarding that I hear a lot of good things about this hospice home and it does supposedly bring quality of life, but in our situation, I don't believe that. I do not believe that this is the right decision to do at this moment. And I was a little bit frustrated and really ticked off this morning that um, nobody told me these things. Our decisions could have been different a week ago. And I'm very frustrated because we could have taken a whole nother route, a whole different plan um, in trying to find quality of life for him. So I don't agree with allowing things to happen in a sense. And this is the reason why I posted like I felt like I was giving up. You are. You are giving up when you go to this house. You are, you're giving up because you're giving up the right to treat him, pretty much. You're, you're signing that contract that you're saying, oh, if he gets sick, we're not gonna do anything about it. We are going to allow him to get sicker and die. Not gonna do it, I, I just can't. I don't feel that that's the right decision. And so right now I'm advocating for Elijah, saying that, I just don't think right now is the right time for him to pass. Plus, we've got a trip that we want to leave on Sunday. So here, let's talk about that. So we have decided to cancel the hospice home. I, at this point, do not feel as comfortable. And now I know why I was nervous in the first place. Now I know why I was sick to my stomach and I felt my feelings. I Now I know it was my gut, mommy gut saying, don't do it. And I tried to get past that saying, oh, it's just nerves. I was nervous. <sighs> no, it was my mommy gut. My mommy gut is usually right 100% of the time. Usually, I mean 100% of the time, all the time. So, um, here's what we're going to do is we are going to stay here at the hospital until Sunday. We are going to be discharged on Sunday. We will be going to a hotel on Sunday. Monday, we will be going to Monday Night Raw. I have already learned how to reaccess, deaccess and reaccess his port. I've learned how to use a pump and give IV medications. So we are set in that way. Now, after our trip this upcoming next weekend, um, we don't know what we're gonna do. We are more likely to come back here and get admitted again because he's probably going to need that help. <sighs> I don't think anybody would realize how frustrating this is. I have spent half the morning upset and crying that these plans just total took a total dump within a matter of minutes. 
I wish I knew. And like I said before, shame on me. Shame on me for being ignorant about the whole situation. I didn't know, and I don't think the doctors here even knew, the extent on medical care. Yeah, sure, I'm sure they do anything that you want to do while you're at the house and whatnot, but it is not what we're looking for at the moment, unfortunately. I feel like Elijah continue, needs to continue on getting the medical care that he needs. Like right now, I said he, he's getting platelets right now because the lab said his platelets are low. And because the platelets are low, his scar started oozing and bleeding and they would not fix that at the house. They wouldn't do anything. They just clean it up and let it go. They would have let the infection happen. They wouldn't they they would let the infection happen. They would allow him to get more sick because it's a place where you go to die. I don't think Elijah's ready for that yet. Neither are we. We want to continue his medical care. We want him to live as long as he can. And I think he would die faster if we went to this house. So I was very upset by this whole situation. We're gonna be here. We're going to be here. Um, as far as doing Hawaii in the hospital or Disneyland in the hospital, that's going to be taken care of through the hospital um, if we were to do that. So um, that's that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your love and support and I appreciate your support on our decisions. I am advocating for my son. I am fighting for him. I am fighting for his life. I am. I am fighting for his life and I don't feel that the decision of this hospice home is the right decision right now. Now that I know, now that I know. Can you imagine if we ended up at that house and I wanted that care and we didn't get it? Oh my gosh, I would have been completely outraged and totally lost it on people. I would have lost it on people. If we went there today and then found out they don't do those things, oh my gosh. So this all happened right at the right time, but at the worst time at the same time. It's quite the conundrum. So anyway, I'm glad I made it through this without going through a plate of onions. <laughs> um, that's the update for Elijah right now. I love you guys. Thank you for your support and our decisions. We appreciate you so, so much. Ciao.